So I recently made a video on the MHMK2, which is like an armored RV with a machine gun and a railgun emplacement and a plow on the front. <laughs> Very juicy. But one of the great benefits of the armored RV is that the inside has two levels of storage. But that got me to thinking. Can I expand the normal RV and make it a double-decker battle wagon? And so began my epic quest to build the greatest RV ever and control the Eververse. I had no idea where this journey would take me and what perils I would have to face, but I was ready. So I loaded up a fresh game, grabbed some tools, and set off. If you don't know, the RV mod basically allows you to teleport from the outside of your RV into a far-off unused cell of the map, where a series of RV interiors are all set up. Once you've used an RV interior, it links that RV to that interior, and you'll always go from one to the other. But as you can see, there are quite a few set up and ready for your use. The MHMK2 mod, and the Basements mod, and the Sewers of Chinatown, as well as a few others also use this trick to make moving into secret areas extra smooth. But once here, my work was clearly ahead of me. I began to slap down walls cabinets, and whatever else was ahead of me so that I could get to building. After checking out all the walls, and destroying as much of the interior as I could, I couldn't find any walls that were breakable, so I had to switch gears. Could I build a doorway and then just walk out? No. Well, what about picking up a window and then placing it into the wall to get out and then being able to build from there? For those of you that don't know, you can actually move entire windows around if you have a crowbar. Just be careful not to break them when you extract them. And no, this method yielded no fruit. And even just trying to build a set of stairs itself inside the cleared out area won't work, since there was a roof on this particular building that needed to get out of the way. So, it was time to break out the full power of the debug mode and see what we could do. And to my great surprise, the entire cell is filled with these RV interiors that include a roof full of rain barrels and a generator, but just dark emptiness outside otherwise. And you can build on this void of inkish terror. So it was now time to try just one last trick. One last tool mankind has. Fire. But to get the fire to work with you, you have to be really, really careful. It can spread quickly and in unexpected directions, and even a little bit on you, and your toast without a fire extinguisher or bucket of water ready to go. And no, bottles of water won't cut it. Come to find out, using a Molotov in this confined space proved to be somewhat tricky. And I found that the fire could even spread up to the rain barrels above and then back down to get in my way. But here's the cool thing. Once the fire burned the walls of the RV, you could walk right through the gap and start building your dream base. Need more storage? Place it out in the black darky lawn. 
Want to build a tower? Feel free! Want to connect multiple RVs? To make a teleportation system to get from Rosewood to Riverside to Louisville as quickly as hopping in one RV and then walking over the bridge to the next one? Like it's the ways from the Wheel of Time? The books, not the Amazon series, obviously. Then, if you want that, you can totally do that. If you are extremely carefully lucky, you can throw the Molotov into the bedroom and burn only the bedroom. But the easiest way to do it is throw the Molotov, then exit the RV and let the fire take it. Then a few hours later, you can start your rebuilding of the thing from the ground up. Then, once you're into one RV, getting into others is as easy as popping the roof off and dropping in and building a set of stairs to get out. Though, with that said, do be considerate. If you're doing this on a multiplayer server, don't throw the Molotov in someone else's RV. And if you do set up a transport system, put up some signs to let people know where they're going. And if you're planning to do this or were entertained by the video, please subscribe, and give us a like, and I'll see you next time.